Grant's Distillery Edition Blended Scotch Whiskey. The best $29 you'll ever spend, or should you save your money? Stay tuned for the Whiskey Whistle. Hi, my whiskey people. Mark here from Whiskey Whistle on YouTube, sharing a little whiskey awesomeness from Seoul, South Korea, bringing you a very interesting Grant's. This is the distillery edition and it's 46.3% ABV. It's unchill filtered, which is very unusual for a blended scotch. Now, I think to my knowledge, amongst the big brands of blended scotch whiskey, only this and Cuddy Sark Prohibition are unchill filtered. Let's get that poured. Sure, we'll pour a nice amount. That's a good ounce and a half. And you can see that I've worked my way through that quite well already. But in my defense, I've been in quarantine here in South Korea now for almost two weeks without much to drink. Now, some nights I'm just so tired from the jet lag that I don't drink anything. In fact, today is the first day in three days since I've had any whiskey. And I've basically gone through about half of that. And it's a liter bottle, $29 of duty free, an unreal price actually, when you think about it. Um, that's gonna be, I mean, if I just think about the math, um, 29 times uh, 0.7, that's about $21 roughly. $21, which is actually lower than the, the standard price for grants or or teachers or Cuddy Sark or Jane B um, in Manitoba, where I'm from. So $29 Canadian for this is a pretty unreal price. But the thing is, we, we want to find out, is it worth it? So it's 29 bucks. It's 46.3% ABV, but is it worth getting? So this is what we'll answer today. Now, first of all, we'll check out the color of the whiskey. Then we'll have a look at the legs of this uh, this Grant's Distillery Edition. Then we'll check out the nose, the palate, and the finish and give it a whiskey whistle whiskey score. So make sure you stay tuned for that, all right? So the color, first of all, what do you see for color for this Grant's Distillery Edition? A nice medium golden hue and surely there's color added. It doesn't say that on this bottle because in Canada, we don't have that kind of legislation. Surely if uh, this were Germany or Denmark, it would tell us on the bottle that there is um, um, spirit caramel added. And that's about an 18 karat gold color. And given its age, it should not be that dark unless it's got first fill X sherry, but I don't think it has. So absolutely color has been added. It's very nice that it's unchill filtered and I think that's a step in the right direction for uh, big brands like this. This, by the way, I think is number four, if I'm not mistaken, in terms of um, volume sales of blended Scotch whiskeys. Well, Scotch whiskeys um, in general. I think Glenfiddich doesn't even feature in the top 10. Um, it, they're all blends. Probably Glen, Glenfiddich is gonna be somewhere around the 11th to 15th, I'm guessing. That's just my guess. All right, let's have a look at the legs. And Grant's, by the way, you might notice the triangular bottle that's the same shape as uh, Glenfiddich and the same company as Glenfiddich, Balvenie, Kenanvi, Ailsa Bay. Do they have any other blends? They have uh, Monkey Shoulder. Okay, here we go. Oh, well, that's uh, a very nice leg show. Medium speed first legs, which is very encouraging for a blend compared to 40% blends. The secondary legs follow the same path. There's a little bit of slowness going on here. I can see some very slow secondary legs. Um, yeah, look at that. That's pretty encouraging. Probably the best legs I've seen for a blended Scotch whiskey. Now, amongst the newbies, and uh, if you're watching this, you might be a newbie yourself, and that's okay. I was a newbie once. Um, back when I was uh, 17. <laughs> but uh, no, seriously, there's a lot of newbies that are uh, jumping on the uh, the whiskey bandwagon. And a lot of newbies don't really know the difference between blends and blends. So when we think about Scotch whiskey 
as its unique own unique category, which it is. We have three different blends that are possible in the legal structure of Scotch whiskey. We have uh, we have blended Scotch whiskey. We have blended malt Scotch whiskey, and we have blended grain Scotch whiskey. So there's three different types of blends. So this is blended Scotch whiskey. Now, when we hear and when we talk to people who are from Scotland who like whiskey, um, we have essentially in their minds, there's two camps. There's blends and there's malts. And blended malt is a malt. It's not a single malt, but it's a malt. So don't refer to a blended malt as a blend because it's actually a malt. Uh, albeit a blended malt, but a malt nonetheless. It's a blend of a variety of single malts. So in the nomenclature, this is a blend. And um, when you're talking about whiskeys and somebody says, which blended Scotch whiskey do you like? Please don't say monkey shoulder. Please don't say uh, naked grouse because those are blended malts. They're not blended Scotch whiskeys. So it's uh, uh, there's something missing from the, uh, the, the, the designations that makes it a little bit unintuitive so just be careful and uh, and learn about it because it really doesn't make sense to recommend uh, naked grouse when someone is asking what types of blended scotch whiskey they should get um, it's much more expensive um, than your basic blended scotch whiskeys about double the price where i'm from anyway so uh, just be aware of that Okay, on to the nose. Let's check the nose out for this Grant's Distillery Edition. Fermented apples, sour apples. The lightest waft of peat. Fructose sugar. Some warm sake. Now, the grain whiskey in here is going to be Jervan, which is owned by the same company. Um, so we know what it's made of. So um, when you think about what this is, this is going to be a blend of five things. Jervan, Glenfiddich, Balvany, Kinnanvi, and Ale Sabe. So that's the five things that go into this blend. They don't have to use anything but their own whiskeys now. The William Grant and Sons um, um, uh, owned distilleries. So that's very interesting. And even on the box, they talk about the maker, the muscle, and the master. Uh, the maker expertly distills our precious spirit. Our precious spirit. So this tells you that they're not using anything but their own spirit. So, and I think that's great. Um, now, it's not a single facility, unlike Loch Lomond, which is a single distillery. But um, um, they have five different distilleries. And that's cool. I like that. I'm a fan of that. But especially, I get this nice um, fermented apple note. So kind of like, um, well, cider, right? Cider, a cider note. And we have some ginger. We have some spiced cider. We have the tiniest bit of vanilla. Not much vanilla, in fact. And we've got pears and apples like stewed um, or very, very ripe ones. Certainly a very interesting nose. I think especially someone who likes Calvados will enjoy this quite a lot. The casks are very fresh. I'm guessing it's second fill, a little bit of third fill and a little bit of first fill. All right, on to the palate. Cheers, folks. Hmm. 
Hmm. Sweet, tart, apples, candy apple. Oh yeah, candy apple is a really good descriptor of, of how this tastes. Candy apple. Uh, a little bit of caramel in there. A little bit of vanilla. But especially candy apple. Macintosh. Macintosh candy apple. The single grain component was extremely well made, very well aged, maybe eight years old, maybe 10 even. And I think that grain whiskey was matured in second fill ex bourbon, or it might have been um, um, a uh, Frankenstein cask of second fill ex bourbon and second fill ex sherry all cobbled together. And there's really nothing very uh, notable on the on the box, and you except for the fact that it's unchill filtered. But you think that they would tell a nice story on the box about how the whiskey was made. Well, anyway, the finish is actually very long for a blended Scotch whiskey. A basic blend that's so inexpensive so I think you know where I'm going with this and I'll tell you right now that Jervan single grain that's in this as it is I would buy a bottle of that just to have to educate myself about how single grain scotch whiskey tastes because I don't get to try it enough. Um, a friend of mine, Gino, I think he's going to lend me his Hague Club, which I'm very excited to try, which I think is is that um, um, sort of the C, Cameron Bridge. So Cameron Bridge, that'll be interesting to try. And I noticed that um, in Canada, I just saw something from North Star at Jervan um single single grain which i think was uh pretty well aged 20 years or something for not a bad price i might try that based on my enjoyment of this which is quite nice i must say hmm now it's quite sweet and 46.3 percent you don't really notice it just because of the sweet edge it has Long finish, as I mentioned, we've got the orchard fruits. We have a little bit of caramel. The candy apple is there. It's nice. Okay, we're going to add... No, there we go. We're going to add about uh, not quite one milliliter. Okay. Now the 40 percenters that you get for blended scotch whiskey, you probably don't need to add water unless you own the bottle and then just to explore the flavor. But uh, this one at 46%, 46.3% uh, ABV, you may as well try it. Okay, let's see here. The nose now with water. more of the fermented apple, more of this um, um, cider, spiced cider note. Well, and then you get a nice sweet caramel coming through there. So a caramel candy, a hard caramel candy like Werther's. And then also this, um, this, um, a cider note. Lovely. All right, now the palate with water. Cheers. Okay. 
more caramel coming through here. A little bit less of the candy apple. And a little hint of peat coming through. So I really do think there is a little bit of peated Ailsa Bay in there. Not much, but just enough to really give it that, well, scotch-like nose and, and palate that tells the buyer that, oh yeah, this is scotch. Hmm. Yeah, smoked apples here now. That's really interesting. Now, the whiskey that I had recently that's very much like this, that I haven't reviewed yet, however, is um, Old Perth Blended Malt Scotch Whiskey Wine Cask Finish, I believe it's called. Hmm. A little bit sweeter, a little bit of brown sugar coming through now. Brown sugar is absolutely um, a flavor note that you often find in certain blended Scotch whiskeys. But overall, they've used an excellent grain in this. So the Gervain used here was just impeccable. And they've combined that with some very, very nice single malts from their four distilleries. So I have to commend William Grant and Sons for creating this product that is very, very avant-garde. It's very forward thinking. It's high proof. It's unchill filtered. And I think that all it's missing is an age statement. And I think um, I have a feeling that five years old would cover it, maybe even six. So just whatever age that is. In your next production of this distillery edition, just throw the age on there. It doesn't have to be big. It can be small. But put it on there somewhere so that people know what this is. And they can say, oh, well, it's got an age statement. It's at least double the age of the minimum legal requirement for Scotch whiskey. So I think um, when you look at what's available in that price range, and you throw the number six on there, you're going to get lots of buyers. I guarantee it. And because it tastes the way it does, I think that you'll have a lot of repeat buyers. That's just my recommendation for you, William Grant and Sons. Take it or leave it. Probably you'll leave it, but you never know. And hey, if, uh, you know, I'm always looking for work. <laughs> All right. Okay. So let's get on to the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey Score for this interesting William Grant and Sons Grants. Distillery Edition. What is that going to be, folks? It's going to be 85 out of 100. You heard it. 85 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for this Grant's Distillery Edition. $29 Canadian for a liter. You do the math. 21 bucks for a standard bottle. So is it a buy? Absolutely it is. I highly recommend this. And if you are a single malt lover, Try it because honestly, it is superbly well made and it's all in house. It's a single company blend, and I think that uh, they should be applauded for that. So, well done, and I think it deserves, yeah, it really does. It deserves a little whiskey hug. All right, good job, very nice, well done. I do like you. No kiss, though. <laughs> All right. Well, hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you subscribe to Whiskey Whistle by clicking the little emblem right over here and hit the bell. Ding, ding. That way you'll be notified of the future Whiskey Whistles coming out through your email inbox or on your notifications through your smart device. And if you happen to be visiting Winnipeg or you live there, check out Winnipeg Whiskey Club. And my friends, if you're enjoying Whiskey Whistle, jump in and join me on Patreon and join the Whiskey Whistle crew patreon.com backslash whiskey whistle you'll get advanced viewing of the future whiskey whistles as well as your name in the credits coming right away okay check that out take care folks we'll see you for the next one bye now